guys, welcome back. Today I will be sharing my little DIY summer bucket list. I am a new mom, baby is asleep. So while baby sleeps, mama's going to plan and make my summer bucket list. This summer of course is going to look different for us. A, new baby. B, we're still in a pandemic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have some fun with some stickers. If you're new to my channel, I do have a few little bucket lists for the different seasons that I can leave the links to those videos in the description box below. Sometimes I create them here live with you guys and show you like the little steps and show you the little process that I go through. And then sometimes I just talk about my summer bucket list that's already made. Today I will be making it with you guys. I actually made a little summer bucket list for Olivia. Olivia is my baby girl and this is what I made okay sorry about that I had to fix the lighting so this is a little bucket list that I made for her I think it's absolutely adorable I'm not quite finished with it yet um, if you again are new to my channel I like to fill up the entire page and I don't like a lot of white spaces so I'm still gonna add a few fun stickers here but this is what but for the most part, this is what her little summer bucket list is looking like. I think it's adorable, so I'm going to move that to the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the products that I'll be using for today's bucket list. If you are new to my channel, I am a big Happy Planner product user. I love their stuff, I think it's super cute. So I have this little Leopard Happy Notes, and I will be using some plain paper that I pulled from another Happy Notes, which is this one here. And let's see. So I like creating my bucket list on like either like the plain Happy Notes filler paper or the dot grid. Um, I also will be using my flare pins. Love them. And I will be using a ton of Happy Planner stickers. The Happy Planner sticker books are my absolute favorite stickers ever. They have some super cute stickers. So I'm not going to go through every sticker book that I'll be using because I will probably use a lot from a lot of the sticker books. Some of my favorites are the Wrong Wrong seasonal sticker books. They are absolutely adorable. Again, perfect for bucket list and planning in general. If you are new to planning or new to stickers, don't know where to start, I highly recommend starting with a sticker book. Most bang for your buck. I probably will be using some stickers from the summer sticker book. This is a new one here. It's a seasonal teacher. I'm not a teacher, but I love picking these up because there's only a few pages that I probably won't be able to use, but I will be able to get tons of use out of all of the seasonal stickers in here. This is a new buy for me. It's not new new, but it's new to me. I picked this one up to go in my planner bag. It is, it, it's a really good one. I have the Super Mom sticker book out, the Squad Goals. This is just to give you guys an idea, some inspiration to get crafty, to get creative. You do not need all of these sticker books. I have accumulated these over quite a few years now. And it's just something, of course, this is my hobby. It's something I like to do. So I have quite a collection, paper, pen, a few stickers. If you have them on hand, some washi tape, and you're good to go. So this is not going to be a talk through. I'm going to put on some music and let you guys enjoy seeing me put together my summer bucket list. If you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to give them a thumbs up and enjoy the rest of the video.
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down <laughs> 